Retinitis pigmentosa affects 1 in 4,000 people and can lead to partial or total blindness. Today, through a new retinal prosthesis and unique computer vision algorithms, we're helping to restore visual perception for people with the disease. Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab partnered with Second Sight, the creators of the retinal implant and device, to help improve patient experiences, restoring day-to-day -day functions. The system works by sending visual information from a camera in the glasses to a sensor pack running the algorithms that outputs the scene to an array on the retina. But it's extremely limited, only 10 by 6 pixels get displayed, so this is what the user might perceive. The challenge for APL is to develop those solutions that can better help patients get the most out of this system and the images that they see. So we first had to understand some of the problems people were dealing with. What are those simple things of everyday life that they would most like to do again? Such as the ability to see faces. Being able to face a person while speaking makes conversation much easier and more natural. Yeah. Show me the cup. Or the ability to identify and locate objects, knowing what objects are on the table in front of them. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> and mobility. Can we create navigation cues to aid them while getting around? Having the simple ability to navigate from one place to another is core to maintaining a functional level of independence. We also look to employ the use of eye tracking for taking in more of an area. Currently, patients need to continually move their head around to cover everything they want to perceive. All of our solutions help to increase independence and ease of use to get back some of what was lost. We've been able to leverage a lot of the work that we do here at APL and really apply it to this project, I'm using deep learning to computer vision. A key area for APL expertise is system design, how to run all the sensors and algorithms in a lightweight, portable system that can last several hours and can be upgraded easily, such as a smartphone or cutting-edge embedded device. Through research and testing, we've prototyped a lot of our algorithms with some already implemented on the newest prosthesis from Second Sight. But beyond the current system, we're looking at solutions to really push the next generation products forward. The rewarding part of a project like this is getting to partner with industry and really see the positive impact it has had. Restoring vision, improving people's day-to-day -day lives, and knowing there's still more people we can help in the future.